Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I have, I guess, a bit of an update for Ethereum and the merge. Actually, no, not the merge, but the difficulty bomb delay that's essentially affecting all of us miners in terms of uh, profitability and also, I guess, the daily issuance of Ethereum. I'm going to talk about all that uh, in this video. And also, I want to talk about some profitability numbers, how it was back then and now and just do a comparison there just give some a bit of perspective i guess yeah we're going to talk about the awkward devs meeting that just happened today as well and i have a little clip here i want to play for all of you regarding i guess the timeline for the merge so let's start off with that and before i begin this video is brought to you by nerdgears.com if you guys are looking for graphics cards for sale they actually have a whole bunch here they just posted on their website use offer code redpenpen for two percent off if you are interested they also take crypto for payment so link down below to nerdgears.com. All right, guys, let's play this little clip here from Micah Zoltu. He's just talking about, I guess, essentially the timeline for the merge. All right, so here we go. I think it's important for those listening in um, to understand that we do not have fine grained control over when the merge happens exactly, like in terms of timestamps. Um, and this is very, very true on test nets. And it is somewhat true on mainnet. Um, normally when we schedule hard forks, we can get pretty close to where we want them to be. Like we, we shoot for a certain time of day. With the merge, everybody should be prepared for test nets and main net that we may get the day wrong. Um, and for te test nets, we may get the week wrong as we saw with, with Robston, right? We got it way wrong by like several weeks. And with main net, I, I think being off by days is not unreasonable. Yeah. And so all users should be prepared for that. Like when we, when we talk about scheduling things for the eighth or scheduling things for you know this date or that date, um, users need to be aware. These are best guesses for us. We're trying our best, but the way things are designed, we don't actually have control. I mean, it's a censorship resistant system that we don't actually control. We only make suggestions and the system does what it does. Okay. So there you guys go from Micah. One of the devs here basically says there can't be a date for the merge until I guess when all this testing is done. And, uh, you know, when it's all successful, everything, I guess, then they'll come out with something. Now, there was a massive tweet here from Tim Bako, basically highlighting all the what transpired in the Arcore Devs meeting. So Tim Bako says here, in terms of the delay itself, everyone seems to agree that two to four months is what would be reasonable. Doing less than that is useless, and no one felt like we would need more than that. There seemed to be a slight preference for shorter end of that range, too. Uh, going down here, Tim Bako says, again, that live stream had much more nuanced discussion. This is just the highlights. We didn't make a decision on this call, but the next step would be someone to make a specific proposal in the form of an EIP. I suspect we'll be discussing this in the next call too. All right. So uh, yeah, uh, they didn't make a confirmed decision about delaying the difficulty bomb, but someone needs to come out with an EIP for that. And for those that, you know, just want to, I just want to show you guys right now, the block times uh, right now for ethereum have been going up these past uh past couple of weeks here so uh, on average it used to be about you know 13.1 13.3 seconds average block times right and then right now it's about 13.96 probably 14 seconds now and it's going to continually go up and very similar to the previous ice bomb activations byzantium constantinople murray glacier you can see Block times went up, right? 14 seconds, 15 seconds, 17, 18, 19, and so on, right? But when that happens, for, for those that don't understand, is that the issuance, the daily issuance of Ethereum was getting less and less and less as the difficulty bombs were activated, right? As the, as the network was getting more congested and much slower, as, it is, as it's starting to be now, you can see normally the past, uh, the past couple months here, the daily issuance of Ethereum was around 13,000, I don't know, 600, 500 Ethereum a day, roughly. And now it's like 12,800. So to correlate that with us miners now, okay, in terms of profitability, we are getting less and less Ethereum. There's a whole bunch of variables here that equate to our profitability numbers. And network hash rate right now, network difficulty is at an all-time high, uh, constantly, right? There's more and more hash rate coming on the network. Uh, maybe it's come down a little bit because the market has come down quite a bit. And I guess funny thing is to say right now is that the price of Ethereum or the whole crypto market has come down, right? And so it wasn't the merge that has set off this downturn in price 
it was i guess maybe the terra luna but also stocks came down so if stocks came down bitcoin went down as well i don't know what to correlate all that with but anyways it's not the merge has not i guess brought down the price of ethereum to where i guess bitcoin levels some people may say the bitcoin dominance has kind of decoupled from from ethereum a bit which is which is yeah i can you can see a bit of a dip here in uh, ethereum and then bitcoin dominance now is starting to come back up so that means bitcoin is is having more value right than ethereum and that aspect and so your profitability numbers that everyone's all equating to on what to mine here which is all done in revenue in btc the number here but also in the rewards in ethereum right that's converted into btc here that's why you're seeing the fiat numbers here so example example all right guys april 21st 2021 so ethereum was what two thousand dollars we go to an rx 580 i put here in what to mine rx 580 180 mega hash 720 watts for a typical rx 580 rig back then april 2021 that rig was making or yielding 0 0.0078 ethereum or in fiat value that would be worth 14 dollars and 38 cents now if we go to what to mine now okay RX 580 rig, 180 mega hash, 780 watts here, 10 cent kilowatt hour, hit calculate. We're yielding, as of right now, as of recording, May 27th, 0 0.0022 Ethereum. Look at the difference there, 0078 versus 0022. And then the fiat value is, is even less now. It's $1.99 versus $14.38 on the same mining rig. Now, you can definitely, you guys can probably understand what's happening, right? We got a couple things here that correlate to why we're getting, why the profitability is so bad. The big one is that the network hash rate from back in April 2021, or uh, yeah, April, April 2021 was about 500, and, 500 tera hash, okay? And now it's double that, all right? The Ethereum network hash rate has gone up pretty much double. It's over a peta hash now, and that's utterly massive that, that is a massive jump in hash rate in the past uh let's see it's been pretty much a year now almost a yeah it's been over a year now a year and one month and about 500 terahash or more has come on the network that's a lot of hardware and the difficulty then you can see here has basically yeah has followed suit with the network hash rate here it's just it's just unbelievable right it, the, the network difficulty from april in 2021 let's see six terahash and now it's 14 Woo, see 14 that's more than yeah, that's more than double since april so but you know to go with that is also now the block times right I, I just mentioned before the block times and the daily issuance of ethereum has been getting less and less and less and so your yields on ethereum and correlating to the price of what, how much you're getting in fiat value because of the price of ethereum has also come down quite a bit it's all correlated together here and that it the profitability of mining i hate to say it has been getting getting pretty bad right and for those that care about profitability, it, it sucks, right? For those that are maybe, I've been seeing it now recently, a lot of people who rented warehouses who have generally, I would say average electrical costs, maybe some people that have 15 or 14 cents will not be able to continue to mine anymore because things are, are just way too expensive now. Uh, their expenses, the, how much they're yielding and versus their expenses it just it just doesn't make sense right people are gonna have to turn off and similar situation happened in 2018 right same thing people got scared people couldn't keep up maybe some people didn't have the capital to keep going right just to give you a little bit of my story here like in order for i i kept mining throughout the bear market because i could i had a job i could pay for my electrical bill out of my pocket and i was able to yield a lot a lot of the ethereum that i was mining during these times and hold it and lo and behold, I, I believed that Bitcoin and crypto and Ethereum would go up to all time highs. And it eventually did. Now, am I saying that that next, if history, can history repeat itself again? I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to keep mining in the next couple years here if the bear market comes and sues? Yes. Yes, I will. I will not be mining Ethereum. Obviously, we all know Ethereum is going to be moving away. But I'm going to be mining another coin. And whether or not that coin's going to go up in value again, I mean, I guess for me, my belief, my conviction here with, I guess, with Bitcoin, as long as Bitcoin goes up, other proof of work coins are eventually going to go up as well. And that is not financial advice at all. 
but you know ethereum is not the only coin out there okay we have to understand that and you know there's other proof of work coins other pro gpu mineable uh proof of work coins out there that we can mine whether or not it's going to be profitable or not after ethereum here in the next potential couple of months here uh this year who knows i'm not sure when that's going to come out but you know things are progressing here in terms of uh what the devs have been talking about and whether or not that's going to i guess translate into the merge happening this september october i don't know q1 of 2023 who the heck knows Un until there is the testing the testing is still ongoing you guys know i also did do a video about the seven block reorg just yesterday and you know things like this you know could still happen right things like this could still happen and uh, the big one of the clients not updating to uh, the latest uh, version of their the client software. Uh, that's a big one, right? That's a big one that correlated with uh, the video that I did yesterday is because of the proposal, proposer block, a proposer boost thing or whatever. And so I guess if people don't update, right, the nodes, all the nodes around the world that are not going to update, I guess, for this mainnet, uh, who what's not to say that there could be a thing that this could happen again right who knows i'm not saying that that should happen i'm not saying it's gonna happen but there there, there's so many things at play here the ethereum network is massive right the ethereum network is massive and there's so much at stake here like pun intended literally there's so much at stake and i'm sorry for those that already staked ethereum you know in the past year here and missed out and were not weren't able to you know withdraw their ethereum to sell at the higher prices of when you could do it i mean not saying that you were good you were gonna do it or not but you know like opportunity costs here like oh my god like you know ethereum hit up to almost five thousand dollars and now here we are seventeen seventeen hundred dollars I'm, I'm like how much how much have you like how much interest have you earned on staking your ethereum versus you know and not financial advice of course i'm just saying you know like wow like that's a big difference of the price of Ethereum versus staking. And I think we all know I, what I've seen, you know, staking 32 Ethereum. It's not an easy, it's not an easy thing to acquire 32 Ethereum, especially. But the, I believe the five or 6% yields or interest that you're going to be gaining on staking Ethereum for, for five or 6% of 32 Ethereum is in retrospect, it's not a lot, but I guess it's something, but I guess, you know, the regular Joe, like myself, I, I don't think I'm going to be staking Ethereum. I don't see any great incentive for me to do it. And uh, do I believe in Ethereum as a project? As of right now, as you guys all know, the, the treatment against miners, and I'm, I'm very biased as I'm a GP miner myself, but lo and behold, we all know that Ethereum has, has been working on this whole proof of stake system since the very beginning and uh whether or not you know we like it or not it's coming and so we have to understand that is that is coming whether we like it or not i'm sorry for those that are mining as a business or has a ha rented out a warehouse and your your expenses are are huge and you know it, it's sad that you know the same thing the same cycle that's been happening in the previous history it may be playing out again or it is playing out again and when now when things become super unprofitable or just subpar break even you know that's when gpus and everything are going to be cheap again and so for me my strategy and this is not financial advice is i'm going to be buying hardware when it's cheaper and i'm going to be uh buying uh maybe buy probably going to buy ethereum if ethereum if, if ethereum hits like i don't know if it ever hits a hundred dollars again my god man i'm i'm gonna buy like i'm gonna buy a, lot, a bunch of ethereum and but probably I'm going to buy a bunch of other coins out there as well that are the altcoin dominance is probably going to go much lower if Bitcoin decides to go lower and lower and lower as well. So uh, I'm a big proponent of the Bitcoin dominance chart. Not, that's not financial advice to any, to any of you, but I, I followed this a lot and I, I believe, you know, there's a time to mine altcoins and then there's a time to profit switch into Bitcoin. And if you understand this chart, you will understand, especially with the market cycles, you'll understand this whole thing about accumulating Ethereum. You know, for example, back in 2018, 2019, 2020, during the bear market and just waiting for you see that Bitcoin dominance now, your Ethereum that you mined and yielded a lot more during the bear market has massively appreciated in price as well. And uh, the opportunity cost of acquiring more Bitcoin is even bigger, right? If you're doing that in, in a sense. And so it's just 
a lot of different strategies here I'm, I'm this is not financial advice to all of you this is just strategies that i've i've been doing now in the past couple years here and i've explained this to everyone multiple times in, in many videos i know not many people watch my videos every single day and i've explained these types of things especially in the past year and when i made my profit my profit videos it's i have a lot and i've made a lot and i've talked about all this constantly like every day all the time not every day but i i generally do it all the time and for those ha that have stuck with me during the bear market understand that you know they you guys understand right you guys understand what's going on here and when the market comes down like this i mean it's not just the it's not just crypto right everything everything's been coming down stocks real estate you name it and uh, i think stocks have kind of been coming up now that uh, slowly coming back up as of recording this video so maybe you know crypto could follow suit not quite sure not quite sure but i think if the bear market is here for the next couple of years it will probably be a long bear market and uh that's the time to start making money that's the time to acquire that's the time to accumulate and all that good stuff all right my friends that's it for this video i don't think i i don't even i don't even know if i got the gist of talking about ethereum i was just talking about more about strategy and stuff now anyways not the point anyways thanks for watching guys let me know your thoughts have a good one peace out